That's what the decision I was talking about was. Okay, I think I'm good. Let's do this! He's rated an ASG yeah. stream, so it's time for some freaking ASG. Party ball interaction. Chat, do we think Bouncy Fortress can be fully rounded today? One session is this the reasonable? I'd say so um, because ball. it's it's a very symmetrical stage. Mm. And it also seems like a very all or nothing type of stage where like you just go around in a circle collecting all the bunches in some method. Yeah. I don't see it being worth it to get just two or four of the bunches. Yeah, yeah that's that's like box stage, like theorem. Hm. Most box stages are kind of all or nothing, unless they're like okay. Unless they have some kind of significant layering. To them, like ice tray, like the small bunches, I would consider as their own thing. Mm -hmm. Speaking of ice tray, hello. But like, a scaffolding kind of has that as well, like whether you go for three or four, all four in a quadrant, like three or four towers. Handpipes doesn't really have it, even though, like, yes, there's an upper and lower layer, like, the, I think the optimal strat is to, like, mix the two layers. At least the RTA. Waffle Weave is, like, maybe three out of four, potentially. I think it's, like, three out of four or four out of four. That's fine. That's the last stage. Um, uh, oh, cross stitch. Cross stitch? I'm not sure. Cross stitch is weird. That's an outlier. I also wouldn't even consider that a pure box stage. Yeah, it's box shaped, but it's not a box stage, you know? Uh, let me look at my strats again. I, think I had like sound strats. I have to like remember which one. Uh, 147 with 120 bananas. Uh, excuse me? Save it, save it, save it, save it. Holy heck! Holy heck, I saved it! Oh my god! <laughs> save of the century! <laughs> I've tried that save before, and I know for a fact it didn't work. Uh, am I owned here? I think I'm owned. Hold on. Uh, wait a minute. 
No, I'm not owned. I'm good. Wait, am I? Oh, oh, no, we're good. I'm not owned. Let's go. I think. Is that reaching? Yes, it is reaching. Okay. I'm not owned. Just a slight time loss. Ooh, I did not think that was going to make it. <laughs> That's scary. Okay, water break. I like the regularly scheduled water breaks in this run. You get one on 210, you get one on um, 510, you get one on 910. It's like right at the end of three different worlds, and they're all pretty spread out. Really? Maybe I'm like, where the I... Dope. I'm not a fan of, like, for example, like the Chroma Chrome Auto Scroller. I really like just being able to take a sip of water during the run. Also, that's a Deathless World, too. In Deathless I don't World know, maybe, maybe I just, like... I uh, no, I, I was kind of like the person who was trying to steal for housing race, so I like, like, dense, like, no breathing room gameplay. Well, that's, like, the exact opposite of what this run feels like, because it's very, like haste and decision making centered. I tried to dodge that spike by going on the outside, and I don't know if I just wasn't going to get hit by the spike anyway, or if that dodge actually worked. At Helix13 underscore E. I agree with the sentiment. Oh, reach that. Okay. <laughs> Scary. baby. Oh, baby. We're carrying this deathless pace out of Monkey Grill. Oh, baby. I've only ever done that once before, I think. And I'm pretty sure it died on detonation. And you know what? Bring on the nerves. This is good nerve practice. <laughs> I'm gonna be this nervous eventually and needing to perform under pressure when I actually am on PV pace. So if I can simulate that by getting nerves early in the run, then I'm down. That's weird. Never mind, that's fine. Whew. Okay. Tied best pace ever. And I think the deathless pace that got the detonation also took a like a death's worth of time loss on um what's it called? Solar vessel. So I think it genuinely like wasn't even real deathless pace, because it basically took a death by t losing time on Floor Vessel, which you basically can't die on.
All right. First ever Deathless run into World 4. <laughs> Pretty cool. That's also my first time ever nailing three Deathless worlds in a row, period, because, you know, that's rare. <laughs> Either way, even if this run crashes and burns, I don't care. That's something to write home about, you know? Oh, that was a weird low hit. Okay. No one, we're down for that, you know? Alright, let's build some speed. Get a nice low scoop there. A nice... Not too high scoop there. Alright, I want one more hit. Good. Is that gonna be... Okay, that's gonna hit the top. And then that's not gonna work. Hold on. Low scoop. And that's also not gonna work. Uh, hit the center. Okay, boom, boom. That is gonna work. Boom. Alright. Little bit of a slow wraparound, but that's okay. It just took a while for me to be given the opportunity. That's all. There might have also been some opportunities I missed. I don't really know. And I'll never know. Unless I go back and I watch the run. And even then, like, you can't know without actually trying it. You can't really make the judgment call purely. And know if you were right until it worked or didn't. Oh... Uh, I don't know about never retrying Nation Armor. There are definitely times where it's optimal to retry. Not on Wraparound, there isn't. <laughs> on Wraparound, but yeah. Unless you, like, end up behind the portal without your speed. That seems pretty doomed. Thank you for the follow person who I can't read the name of right now because I'm in the middle of one of the hardest stages in the run. BOOM! Also, I don't even see the name on my tiny phone screen, so that's cool. Uh, this is a bad setup. Damn phone. Wait a minute. Backup King! Let's go! Oh, wait a minute. Is this working? Is this working? Yes, it is. Okay, we're good. Whew! Oh. Nambone. Hi, monkey. This run is deathless, by the way. No biggie. Um, what direction am I facing? Red star. Ah, there we go. First death. Okay. <laughs> Dang! That is ridiculously far compared to my last, like, deathless pace. Holy balls. How far did it get? It got to Icy Precipice. First death was on Icy Precipice. Excellent. Previous was uh, Detonation. Uh, oh god, I have to like figure out like which way I took the screenshot like corresponds to which way. Uh, like how you're, like what direction you're facing in the game to start. I did also lose about 10 seconds to wrap around, but it wasn't really to any mistake. I just wasn't presented the opportunity to get the attempt until like 10 seconds later than usual. That was a really close call on uh, Frozen Quad there. I got extremely close to not getting the ground scoop that you want in order to get like not shot over the bounce pad. Also, I don't know if you can tell how shaky my voice is right now, because I'm, like, still nervous. This run's still ridiculously good. <laughs> it has one death out of World 4. Like, what the freak? I don't need to see my pace to know that's good. Uh... And this is the front. Okay. I am cruising just a little bit. 
I am shaking. <laughs> the shaking will go away when I have like a random meltdown somewhere, probably. I shaking. But this is good. Sorry. This is good nerves practice. This is what I need. Oh, that's a death. Standard run of the mill chain ricochet death, you know. You know how it is. Uh, that's not high enough. That's okay though, because we can do the backup. A boom. The backup loses like not even a full second. <laughs> oh, that was a weird setup. Is this gonna work? Uh it looks like it might. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Whew. God, Spleef leaves a lot of time to build up nerves. If you die to the end of it, it's just like, goodbye one minute. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by my inputs how frantic they are. Is it visible? Like, I kind of want to know. That's a fun death. <sighs> oh, jeez. This is weird. Uh... Is this gonna work? I don't think that's working. Oh no, that's working. That's fine. Okay. That was a really odd setup. That's like not what you're supposed to do at the beginning. Well, I mean, it's what I tried to do what I was supposed to do at the beginning. It's not like I chose to do something else. It's just I ended up with weird collision. Maybe I should reiterate. Those aren't the hits you're supposed to get at the beginning. I think I saved that. Like, I think that was actually like a really bad hit, but I think I saved it. Oh, uh, I'm gonna hit the black here. Boom, black hit saved my life, thank you. Oh, this is a lot of extra height, hold on. Is this gonna work into the, the cone here? Yes it is, okay. Uh, don't pull too much diagonal. Oh, this is really close to the top. Ooh, okay, just dunk it. I just have to dunk it. Whoa, okay, <laughs> that's scary. That's like a minute is on the line there when you're doing that dunk. Oh my god. An entire freaking minute is on the line when you're doing that dunk. <laughs> Big weight off my shoulders getting that stage out of the way. It's like, it's not a hard stage is the thing. It's just really consequential. Oh, that was a weird double hit. Should work though. Ugh, I was <laughs> I was not confident in that goal angle at all.
new 6-3 strat is kind of wild to me. Yeah, I know Ganon found it. Or either that or Frix found it, I forget. It was either Ganon found it and, like, while in a call with Frix, or Frix found it and showed it to Ganon, and Ganon showed it to me. One of the two. Mm -hmm. Oh, this needs a lot more neutral. The low bunches are kind of a problem, is what I'm discovering. Unless there's some sauce that I'm missing. That was really low. I almost went through that wormhole, which wouldn't have been a problem. I would have just had to back it up differently. I was really worried about going through the wormhole though, and I almost like killed the attempt trying to dodge the wormhole, which is not a thing I should be doing. I should like count that as like a mistake that I just made that I need to- Oh, death. I should count that as a mistake that I just made that I need to correct for in the future. Do not let the wormhole scare me there. That wormhole is not like- it doesn't kill the attempt. Hmm. Also, this song is very fitting for this visual theme. Like, maybe it's because Square the Circle also kind of uses the same colors, and that's the map that this is from in Strawberry Jam, but I think this is really fitting for this backdrop. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Hit the second thingy. I'm just gonna need a full boost to the goal. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, that was really nerve-wracking, because I lost a lot of the speed into the 9, because I had to pull a late back, because I didn't realize I was overshooting. And pulling late back on the 9 meant that I like wasn't able to reach the same normal face that I hit at the end there. Luckily, there was a face available for me to back up with, and I didn't have too little speed to the point where the backup failed. <laughs> Goal entry. Wall. No. Okay. That did not feel like that good of a dunk lineup, but luckily the goal was nice to me and let me in. My second try there. That's fine. Okay, the never mind. Maybe the low bunches are actually not the problem, it's the high bunches that are the problem now. One of the shorter deaths you can take in this world. I have a looping mid that sort of, but... Oh, wait, hold on. Why does that work? Uh, go for it. Go for it. Okay. I don't know if that was very well advised, but it made it in, in the hindsight, so... <laughs> I didn't want to back it up. I just didn't want to. It wasn't even... Okay, that's what the mistake was there. That, that decision was not made off of, like... I think it's a good idea. That decision was made off of, I don't want to back this up, which is not a good way to make decisions. It worked out, but not for the right reasons. Same thing on uh, Currents a minute ago. Oh, <laughs> that's a funny death. Kind of forgot that that wall can kill you. If you're not angled correctly out of this bounce pad. That was such a good goal entry line up there. I just felt so secure. Normally that goal entry feels really scuffed. Metopia soundtrack bangs. It's so good. GLASG, thank you so much. This is like my best pace ever by a lot, I think. <laughs> I'm very nervous. I don't know if you can tell by my, how much my voice is like wavering and shaking. Like, this was the furthest Deathless run I've ever gotten, and the run has been, like, really good. Uh, 
All right, and I'm about to get to the stage that I was just practicing because, specifically because I had a meltdown on it. So I guess time to see if the, the meltdown backup practice went to good use. This is the longest strat in the run, and the hard part is at the very end, 50 seconds in. Let's do this. Actually, I don't know if Chromacomb... No, Chromacomb's not longer than this. This is the longest strat in the run. Actually, Spleef might be variably longer than this, but it's, like, not hard at all. So it doesn't really count. <laughs> okay, that looked like a good launch. Um, let's height max a little bit. Uh, no, let's just leave it regular into that. Boom. Is that reaching? Yeah, that's easily reaching the ice. Okay. Now the dunk. Here we go. Nice! Okay. Whew! Oh my god. That is, like, my heart rate just, like, was able to relax a bit there after getting that dunk. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot stress how good this run is. This run is probably, like, minutes better than my best pace ever. Or at least a minute better than my best pace ever. Like, holy balls. And it's 8 to 10 time. Which, World 8's the hardest world in the run. And this is one of the hardest strats in World 8, so here we go. Let's just make this work. Do it how you know how to do it. Oh, that's money. Oh, that's money! Been visited by the void of epicness. I can't read the rest of that message right now. Hold on. This run is, like, ahead of its time. Regardless of if it crashes and burns, this run was ahead of its time, and I'm proud I got it. GG. Hello. <laughs> I am so incredibly nervous right now. <laughs> it's Tar. Hello. I don't, have you seen the run I'm on? No. I am on my best pace ever by probably over a minute right now, and I'm in World 8. Um, yeah. But, it was know, Deathless into fun. Icy Precipice. Ooh. And then the run stayed good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, reach that goal, reach that goal, nice. <sighs> I posted it in Small World earlier, but uh, my oh, sum of really best for Jam 6 all levels is now sub 150. Swag. It actually, hold on, is it sub 145? No, not quite. It's, uh, 148. <sighs> Alright, this is one of the other longest strats in the run. It's like 30 seconds long. And the hard parts at the very end, go figure. But also, there's a lot of hard parts. Oh, this is weird. Never mind, that works. Hey, Good stuff. Never m ooh, 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 that sorp! Wait, no, I need to hit the drill here. No! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That's one death. That's oh, one right, death. That's right. my first death in this world, eight. That does not matter. It's fine. Oh, pass the drill. Okay. We're fine. Just gotta quadripartite my way up here. I had a top floor attempt on antenna today. Nice, nice. Oh, okay. We're up. Nice! Okay! 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 Okay, okay, okay. Okay. 
It's just a death. It's just, it's one death. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Whoa, that was low. I thought I was gonna get whacked by one of the, like, intermediate objects there. This is also, this is probably the hardest strat in the run. Specifically because of the dunk. It's the slowest dunk in the run, and it's the hardest dunk in the run. Because of the blindness. <sighs> there we go. Still on ice mining, or is it chakrams? Uh, chakrams. Chakrams is the hardest dunk, by far. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I don't even care. I'm out. I don't care. I took a few deaths there. That is good. Getting out of there is good. Okay, slow down. Nice. That's perfect. That's the exact kind of hits that you want there. The thing is, you want to hit very slightly past the curve on the second blue hit in order to make it so that you can actually get, like, the nice lineup into the pink that to hit it at max speed and actually get enough height to reach the stun goal. On that. I melted down on this last run too. Oh. Maybe you don't say that. It's okay, I know a backup here. Oh, don't don't land in that. Okay, oh. Just don't waste all this time. Okay, don't get don't don't, don't get crushed. Alright, it's backup time. Here we go. Boom. Two bounces. One. Two, hit, don't go down, oh my god. <laughs> Zona. Did Zona join? Zona is here. Zona. Just a week away. Hi. Hi. Are you indeed live? I am live and on probably my best pace ever out of World 8. Not probably, oh, definitely. I do not know what episode you are talking about of Spongebob. Oh, oh! Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's fine, this World 9's off to a shaky start, but that's like, whatever. There we go. That's what you want to see on Salt Factory. Oh, I almost missed that saw blade. Uh, try to make that, make that, make that, make that, make that, make that. Ooh, that was not able to be made at all. That was a bad call. That wasn't a bad adjust. That was a bad call. I shouldn't have tried to go for that dunk. I should have just backed out. See, that's the kind of thinking I was talking about earlier on Escalade, where I wanted to get it rather than thinking that it was a good idea. I'm letting I want this to finish the stage override, is this a good idea to play out? Oh my god, give me a hit please. There we go. Okay! That's, that, like, uh, I lost, like, a minute, I think. All those deaths and, like, nonsense there. Whatever. It's fine. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Just clean up the rest of the world night, you know? Do what you can. Play the run out. Uh, that's gonna hit the nanobot. Okay, backup time. That's why we set the mini-map up in the right size. And, oh, don't hit the nanobots there. Okay, good. Alright, wait here. And go. Is that also gonna- Oh, I smacked a midair! Oh no, that's not good.
that's another nanobot smack. Okay, get the mini map ready. Alright. Oh, those were in the way. What? Okay, hold on. I did my visual cue wrong. Alright, here we go. There. Okay, that makes it easily. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot of time. I I probably lost a total of two minutes over the course of those two stages, which is a lot. Which means that this run is no longer, like, best pace ever territory, I'm pretty sure. It's just really good. <laughs> I don't actually know how much time was lost there, but, like, we're just not gonna think about it. We're just gonna play the game. Play out the rest of the run. Oh! Bruh. That goal entry is not hard. <laughs> okay. This World 9 is really bad! <laughs> It's bound to happen somewhere. On the bright side, I'm no longer as nervous. The perfect run does not exist. <laughs> Alright. I'm not even on the hardest strat in World 9 yet. I already had all that. Pickups. Okay, this is gonna need a lot of pullback to the goal. Boom! Got it. Alright, here's the hardest strat in World 9. Drawbridges? Uh, no. Drawbridges is probably the easiest strat in World 9. Oh. Foosball. Oh, you're already on foosball. First try! Easy. Booyah! GG. I don't know where that already is from. I took like two minutes of deaths on early stages. Uh, that's a lot of diagonal. Hold on. Am I gonna get owned? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was getting owned. Ugh. Okay. Can we say worst World 9 ever? <laughs> now I have actually no clue where this run is, because that World 9 was, like, really bad. Like, meltdown level bad. That would kill most runs, I'm pretty sure. So, like, I have no clue where this run's at now. It's always tried to be the World Nines. It's not even always World Nine, it's just different places a lot of the time. Oh, okay, this is gonna be a little bit low height for what I'm used to, I think. Yeah, I can already tell. I'm like swapping my direction in the air before the star is even, like, below the halfway point there. That's fine. Because lower, or slower just means, or lower down just means slower speed dunk, which makes, in theory, the dunk easier. Even if it means there's less time to set it up. Probably the hardest stage in World 10 right here. Mm. That's not working, I'm pretty sure. Oh, never mind, it is! Miraculously. Not the right way. 
I just like wasn't I, I didn't aim for the right place. I didn't have the the bevel I was aiming at locked and loaded in my head. Oh, this song is such a banger. Scaffolding? Uh no, the song. No, I went the bevel. Oh, the bevel, uh, it was on Ring Scram- or not, not Ring Scrambler, what's it called? Ga Grandma Burst. <laughs> Grandma Burst? Uh, the song, though, is from NES Pictionary, of all things. I don't know why the song goes so hard, but it does. It's for Pictionary, on the NES. Why? <laughs> But it's a, such a gaming song. It's so good. All right, this is the last super hard maneuver in the run. Is this little sequence break that we have to do on rapids? Everything else after this is like don't choke zone. That's not to say the zip line's not a hard strat. It's like still pretty hard. But it's like no, I'm pretty sure you just said it's like the end. Actually. Yep, I said that. Also, I got it. Easy. Sounds kind of like an indie menu. It's Pictionary. I think it's a title screen theme. <laughs> Which, again, why? Pictionary. It's such a bop. Oh, that's fun. Don't choke zone be like, I choked, lol. Me. Oh, this is a weird setup. Oh, that's an even weirder setup. Am I going to make that? Oh, I'm making that. Okay. Me take with those. the last 10 stages of Jams 4 take 12 minutes. What? <sighs> Alright. Uh, that's reaching? Yes, that's reaching. Okay, we're good. Easiest decision of my life here. That might one cycle. I'm gonna go for it. There's not really any punishment in going for it. Oh yeah, one cycle. Good air control there. Oh, bad. This is the easiest strat in World 10. Lol. Again, not to say that it's, like, super easy. All the strats in this world are hard. Alright! One impact to finish it off. Here we go. And it just right off the edge at the very beginning. That's, like, three seconds. Who cares? The Outer Wilds music, oh my god. That's good. Alright, dunk it. Boom! 44-14! Oh my god! I didn't realize I lost that much time in World 9. <laughs> Is that a PB? That's only a PB by 4 seconds. <laughs> oh! But still, I'm really happy with that. Have fun running against that 1 to 7. I'm so glad that I'm pace blind because holy crap. <laughs> I was gonna say, I would hate for that to be my BB. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. 2701! That World 7 exit is mental. <laughs> Thank you for all the GG's. <laughs> yeah, I'm very glad that I'm pace blind. That's so funny. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Hibiki. I think that's how you say that. Maybe. Oh man, I'm still shaking. I'm 
<laughs> World 9 single-handedly killed that run. Like, all three of those minutes of lead were lost in World 9. Dang. <sighs> I did lose, like, another minute in World 10 to, like, various deaths, I think. Actually, I don't know. Because I took, like... I, d I took a death to Ring Scrambler, I took a short death to Neptune's Wrath, a short death to Gamma Burst, and a uh, long I'm death to Zip Lines. World 1 to 7, colon space Yeah, that could have been a 43 if I played it better World 10, but like... That might just be true, honestly. True information. I don't even care that that only pv by 4 seconds, though. The fact that I got a 3 minutes ahead pace out of World 8 is absolutely insane. <laughs> I am very, very proud of that run. Regardless of the fact that it, like, completely melted down in World 9. Like, I don't care. I'm happy I got that pace. I'm incredibly happy. And it was really fun to play under, like, that much nerves for that long of a period of time. This weekend, this actually a bit of a specimen. Oh god, yeah, no, I don't like this weekend. For reference, the beginning is you hit the bounce hat before the Great Wall. Yo, that was quite something. Oh, I'm not. I'm not streaming my screen. Hello. God, I wish I was able to jump in BC for that. That was so hype. <laughs> 